from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Not expected to be a major problem, but forecasters are keeping a close eye on Tropical Storm Fred as it passes to the south of us, just in case. The system not expected to reach hurricane status before it passes over the next couple of days could generate some rain in the area. Watch us in place for the southeastern Bahamas. New coronavirus curfew hours kick in today in the capital and Grand Bahama. Move back an hour to 9 p.m. because of the increased cases in the country. The House finishing work on the resolution that allows the emergency orders to be extended for what is expected to be the last time. Attorney General Carl Bethel on why this extension is necessary. The only way in which we could really effectively manage the pandemic is through the use of emergency powers. The levels of vaccine nation in the country are not high enough at this point to to warrant a move away from them but we anticipate that over the next three months we will move to the position where there's sufficiently high levels of vaccination across this nation on, on a voluntary basis to allow for a move towards the subconstitutional management of the pandemic. After the new orders expire, the government is planning to move to a public health emergency management plan now being finalized. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The COVID-19 vaccination restart now at high gear. Four centers now up and running, and health officials are urging persons to go out and get vaccinated. And there's more vaccine on the way. Health Minister Wells with this announcement. Probably by the end of August, we will have somewhere in the area maybe 40,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson. The Caribbean and Africa came together to increase our buying power. We have collectively uh, pooled our resources And the Bahamas right now is entitled to about 40,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson. We put down our down payment for it, and we're expecting probably by no later than the end of August that we'll be receiving that Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There's still a lot of persons in hospital being treated for the coronavirus, 134 as of Monday, 15 of them in the ICU. A 64-year-old New Providence man, the latest to die from the virus. The total is now 308. 121 confirmed cases were reported for Monday. Police advising the public that there's an increase in counterfeit money in circulation, mainly $20 and $50 bills. They're urging that you pay attention. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight IQ weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. No systems in the area. Partly cloudy tonight. Showers around. Overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. Low tide now, the next high around 11 this evening. Thursday's forecast, partly cloudy, rain in the area, highs in the upper 80s. Forecasters tracking tropical storm Fred. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, at least 42 persons have died in wildfires, which have broken out in Algeria, Officials there are not sure how those fires started as yet. Some soldiers among the victims. Major fire issues continue in the western U.S., in Greece, and South America, some of them being blamed on climate change. The U.S. continues to have a surge in coronavirus cases due to the Delta variant. Most states are reporting increased cases, hospitalizations, and deaths, while the fight over mask mandates for children in school continues in some states. 
Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's soccer on TV. There's always soccer on TV. Major League Baseball is on TV tonight. John's on the Marlins on the West Coast playing the San Diego Padres. He's on the COVID list, though, and will not be playing tonight. John Quill Jones and the WNBA return on Sunday from their Olympic break. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports Section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.